What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, I know I am. It's sunny and I am not at work. Those are the only two things that matter right now. So <laughs> that being said, um, I'm just sitting down here taking a break from doing some work in my yard and I wanted to show you a new tool that I've been learning on my system that's actually really cool. Um, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So I just wanted to show you and maybe you can get some use out of it too. So let's go ahead and jump to my browser here. Um, and if you go to GitHub and look up Ajit D'Souza, and the tool is called Z Oxide, or Z Oxide, or Z Oxide, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, but it's a really cool little tool. Uh, basically, what it is, is it's a smarter CD command. Now, we all know we use our CD command when we move around our file tree. Um, so we do cd.config. Maybe if we can type, and you know, it takes us there, CD to go home, you know. So, change directory. We use that change directory command all the time if you spend any time in the terminal. Um, well, what this is, is it's exactly like the CD command, only better. <laughs> uh, it gives you an installation process on the page here. Um, it goes through and um, tells you how to do it with any of the, uh, you know, Debian or Arch based or uh, even Void, like I use. It has it right in the repository, so I just use XPPS to install it. Um, you can install it on Mac, Windows, BSD, and Android. Um, you need to add it to your shell. It works with Bash. It works with Elvish. It works with Fish. It works with New Shell, PowerShell, Zonch, and ZSH. Now, to install it on Bash, I basically ran the sudo xbps install zoxide, and then I have to add this to my Bash RC, this eval command. Now, if you're using ZSH, then you add this to your ZSH to your ZSH uh, RC. Um, if you're using fish, you add this to your config.fish. Um, it walks through everything that you need to do to install it and get it running right here on the GitHub page. Um, it shows you that it does work with FCF, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you can import data from AutoJump or any of these other systems that you've been using. It does have a configuration file. Um, I don't use it yet because I haven't got real deep into it. I've just really kind of brushed the surface and use it for the basics, um, but even the basics are really cool. So. Um, you have a few environment variables here, um, and you have some third-party integration that you can use as well. So if you really are interested in it, um, after this video and you want to check it out, just jump on over to the uh, GitHub page for Ajit D'Souza and Z Oxide, and you'll be able to find a lot of information here. So that being said, um, that's just my Bash RC that I was telling you we had to have it in. So um, let's go ahead and open a terminal here, and we'll show you how it works in action. Um, let's clear the screen and zoom in a little. And for the most of the part, like I said, you use the cd command almost every time you're in the terminal. So we want to go to our .config directory, then you do cd.config, and it takes you there. Um, if you want to go back home, cd, it takes you back home. So z uh, zoxide is really just the same thing. It works the same. Um, if you if you want to move into a different directory, though, you use the z command. So you do z.config, and you hit enter, and you're in that. If you want to go home, you just hit z, and you're back home. So it's real similar to cd, you know, in the fact that it's just a quick, you know, one-letter command to actually run the program. Um, but the difference is, say you want to cd into .config, and you type in .com, and hit enter. Well, Bash tells you there's no such file or directory. Well, let's go ahead and try that with z. So let's do z.con and hit, and, oh, look at that. It actually works. What zoxide does is it takes your path to any directory you visited using zoxide and it stores it. So that way, when you try to go back there again, you only have to type in part of the path and it will recall and take you back there. So it's really cool. So see if we go back, let's hit Z and go back again and say I wanted to go there and I said Z F I G. It still takes me there because it remembers that config and it puts me back in there. Now, I've created a couple directories um, last uh, before I made this video. I have a, let's do Z. I have Z test. So I have home Jake test. So let's go back home and I have Z and I have dot local. Test. So I have a home Jake test and a home Jake dot local test. So I have two directories. So now what happens if you've been to both of these directories now using Zoxide and they have the same name? You have a file clash and so what is it gonna do? Well let's go ahead and go home and if we do Z and we do T he T E and hit enter, it's gonna take you to the first one. If you want if that's not the one you wanted, you wanted the other one, you do Z and you hit TE again and it's going to take you to the other one. Now that's not the most efficient way to do things. I know if you're into speed and efficiency that's not going to cut it for you. I get it. But 
here it is. If you do Z space TE and then hit space again and hit tab, Fuzzy Finder or FCF comes up and then you can choose which one it is that you were actually looking for. And you hit enter and then you hit enter again and you are there in that directory. So it's really cool. Um, just a better way to move around the file system. So say I did uh, Z ETC um, and then default and we hit enter and we're in the ETC default and then we go back home and I do Z LT it's gonna take me right back over to that default so it's a really cool tool to just kinda of hopefully once you get used to the way it works um, maybe speed you up a little bit in the terminal now that being said I do have um, CD path set up in bash so um, I can CD into different directories from any um, any directory as long as they're in my CD path. So that's one cool way that I have that I can actually move around a little quicker and I think this one is going to help out my efficiency as well. So again, it's just a really cool tool that helps you move around um, without having to type out full path. Um, you can just type out part of the path that that you've been to or the last directory that you're looking for. So if your path is, like I said, home jake .local test, and you're in your home directory, then you could just type in Z. Um, and then TE and it would take you all the way to home Jake local test or if it had multiple options you could hit Z space TE and then hit space tab and it will list those options so again just a really cool tool to help you move around um, let's kind of show it off again so let's go back home and we're gonna do Z dot config conf let's see that it would take you there go home and again we'll do Z space TE space tab and then it can let you pick between the two since they have um, the same uh, the same name and if say we want to go to Jake test this time so we'll hit that and then we hit enter again and we're there so again a really cool tool something that's really kind of neat to help help you move around the terminal a little better if you're anything like me and you live in the terminal as much as I do um, anything to kind of help your efficiency in that terminal is going to be uh, a welcome welcome tool so that being said I hope you guys find some use for this I hope you have a great day today and a great weekend God bless